Dun, dun, dun. Version 3.3.8.6. IV.2.4. Got the newest firmware updated. Got it working. Time to start testing. All right. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. It took two days to figure out how to install that firmware onto the device. So starting tomorrow, once I wake up, it will be shower time, brushing this golden locks of 80 year old man hair and going out and testing the adapter. It's been, I, I'm just so excited because it has been so long since I got a firmware update that might possibly make this thing work. Now, a lot of people in the comments in the last couple of videos on Reddit, not on YouTube, on everybody on YouTube has been pretty positive. Everybody on Reddit's been pretty positive. But there's that, the couple of engineers and stuff out there that um, make it sound like I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing because there's so much power that goes, through, like some are engineers and stuff, and they go, I, you know, you're hacking these systems and 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 doing all this stuff when there's 400 volts, 50, you know, uh, 50 kilowatts going through or what, whatever the numbers are. This is good for, I believe, 1,000. So I'm not too worried about getting injured here. I do know that uh, CCS does put out a lot more. Like I can go to a 150 charger or a 350 charger. But my car is only going to accept the 100 at the most. But, I'll, you know, most of the time I go to a charger and I usually get like 37 kilowatts an hour, sometimes a high of 50 kilowatts. Now, there's a couple uh, Chatamos not far from where I live that actually I do get close to 100. I'm in the seven, like 77. But um, my car can handle it. And if not... I'm, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll brick my car and uh, have to get another one. And I, that, that really wouldn't be good. But I gotta do it. I, what if it doesn't brick my car? You know, what if this thing actually, we do get it working? It's gonna help so many people. There's like 800,000 Nissan Leafs out on the road. If, I'm, if I sacrifice my, my sh Stitch, Experiment 626. If I sacrifice him for the good of everybody, isn't that what we're supposed to do? That, that's what I was brought up as. So I, so far, nothing's, nothing's happened. You know, I've gotten it working at one charger. It didn't break the car. Everything worked fine. It got a little bit more juice than it normally gets, which was good. But not so much, you know, I was monitoring the battery heat and stuff like that. Not, not, not so much it was going crazy. My car could handle 100. I think I did get 77. So my car could handle that. It, it, uh, I'm assuming the electronics in the car are smart enough to know when to dial it back. The pump can give it. The car can take what it needs. And I'm, I'm, that, I mean, if I was an engineer, that's how I would design them. So... I'm going to go ahead and do some more testing, and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Who knows, may even hit a water park in route. My cat. Come here, kitty. Come here. What? What? I am awake. It's a beautiful morning. 10.42 a.m. I definitely slept in. I'm going to head on over to some EVgo chargers that are not ABB. They are Delta and Signet. So there's two different brands of chargers at this station. Let's head on over there, try, attempt to see if this new firmware is working at least on Delta and Signet. And then um, I'm gonna pack it up and go to the water park. And then I gotta go to work. I just wanna get a little bit wet first before going to work. Welcome everybody to the very first charge of the day. I'm not, I did not bring my computer just brought this adapter because I'm not exactly sure what chargers in the area are working. Those ones down there, uh, what is this one? This here is a, this is a Delta unit. It says right there on the front. This is Delta, so the Signets down there do not work. The, the only thing that works on the Signets at the moment is the Chatamo, 
which is ironic, right? CCS not working, Chatmo is working. So, worst case scenario, I have to charge over there later if this doesn't work. But let's get this thing going. So, retry. Oops. Okay, I am here, and this charger's name is Terio. And they are offline too. I drove 40 miles over here to test out chargers, and every charger is off. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's that's actually not good. How do you test chargers when the charging stations are all down? Well, I am plugged into Chatamo just due to the fact that that CCS, this CCS, and the two CCSs over there on the Delta units are all broke. Well, not the CCS. Well, there's one CCS working. But Chatamo's working and Chatamo's working. But with the CCS is not working, I can't test. I can't test. Okay, it has been a long, long day. Some would say too long. Too long indeed. Yeah, so all the chargers I checked today, most of them were all broken. Everywhere I went, just broken chargers, so there was no way to try this adapter. It is now 2.59 in the morning, and I am in Wildwood, Florida, and I am at an EV Connect station. Now, this station is kind of rare, at least where I live. This one charges $25 connection fee, where you, everybody knows that that's outrageous, but just to connect costs 25 bucks. I don't normally use this machine very often, so this test is gonna cost me 25 bucks. Well, 50 total because I just charged. So, I, I, you know, it gets put back on. It's just a hold. They put a $25 hold on every time you do it. Um, but it comes back. So, this la that charge right there costed me $4. I put $4 in, which is more than enough to drive 100 miles back home. But I'm going to go ahead and slap another, do another $25 hold just to see if this EV Connect is working because in the past it, it didn't work. And this station is made by, let me look. Uh, must be on this side. This is a BTC power. So let's see if it works. I got the app ready to go. Let's put the phone on the hood here. Without it sliding all over the place, and uh, let's start the start the charger. Okay, we want CCS. Let's plug this in. Fingers crossed, it will work. Gotta wait for a second, wait for that to fire up. Now I am running, they sent another new software update today. Okay, so here we go. Here it is going, let's uh, plug it in. Let's see what happens. Let me bring you guys over here so you can see the charger. This is version 3.3, not 3.2. So let's see if it, if this starts with it. And after all these months, it'd be so nice to be able to start charging up more chargers other than EV Go ABB chargers. Okay, the car is plugged in. As you can see, the light is flashing. Let's see what happens. Nothing happening yet. I do not have my computer with me, so I can't get any data, and it faulted. It just popped up on my phone as a fault a second ago. Well, that did not work. Uh, let's, let's 
$25 test, but that $25 will go back on my account in like three days. So, oh well. It was worth a shot. Maybe in the next video, I can hit a couple chargers and they'll be working. And we'll have better luck. It just seems like EV Connect is all over the state of Florida now. There's way more of these than there are EV goes. There's a lot of charge points, a lot of Electrify Americas, a lot of EV Connects. Not many EV goes. It would be nice if these pumps here would start working.